You know, guys, there's no need for a 15-minute story today, but it is breaking news out there that this past weekend being Trio Cash Cups. I'm sure you guys heard a little bit about this and saw plenty of 10 to 15-minute videos covering it. Let's do it in a few minutes, guys. That being Tifu versus Cloaksy versus Tom or 72 hours, whatever you want to call the bunch, whether by their first names or by their in-game names. You know, with that, though, guys, a complaint out there from Tifu initially, which sparked this controversy between friends. Now, they were going to be a trio for this past weekend's Cash Cup, and let me give you guys what I know. First of all, Tifu says he declined, this is probably the biggest shocking news of the entire fight itself, he declined $140,000 from Madden for a sponsored stream. Is that where we're at in gaming right now? Offering Tifu for a single stream $140,000? Despite the fact, though, that being entirely shocking and great for gaming, I guess, and for him and his future, he declined that, saying he would participate in the Trio Cash Cup with Tom and with Dennis. Now, according to his words, though, last second, it was actually Dennis and Tom who said they had taken their sponsors with Madden, and those streams would possibly be overlapping with the tournament. Now, according to Cloaksy and Tom, though, and especially Cloaksy on his remarks, he says they could have taken the tournament start a bit, a bit later. They could have gone an hour later and still qualified uh, further into the event itself. And uh, two conflicting points of interest here. Tifu says they told him last second, while Cloaksy and Tom says they told him a couple days ahead of time. Cloaksy actually saying he had told Tifu about this on Thursday, with the event, I believe, being on Saturday, where Tifu says it was actually last second. The overall issue here is pretty much Tifu felt betrayed that he had declined 140,000 sponsorship, although according to Cloaksy, he had never told Cloaksy or Tom about him declining the sponsor in the first place, which is one issue. Also according to Cloaksy and Tom, though, they were persistent and said they still could play the event, although Tifu said, no, we're gonna terminate the team, and he played with other people instead. So I'm gonna play you guys those three clips on, on both, on all three sides of what their part of the story was, but don't get me wrong here, guys. I do feel bad for Tifu. The guy lost out on $140,000 there are certainly two sides of the story. We'll probably never know the full truth about this, and I'm sure they'll talk about this off stream as well to resolve the future issues. Do I think it's going to be an ending issue for the, the ultimate future of the trio, or especially the duo of Cloaksy and Tifu? No, it's just an ultimate lack of communication, and here are all three sides of their story. They do a sponsor stream for Madden, and they're getting paid or whatever, and it's on this weekend. Madden offered me over $140,000 to play their game and I declined because I thought that we were going to play the tournament this weekend. If he gets offered a bunch of money to play Madden, why wouldn't he come to us and be like, yo, I have this deal, should I do it? And then we'd be like, oh, sure, that's a lot of money, go for it, dude. And then we get offered the deal too and we'd be like, oh, sweet, we'll just play trios. I get offered the deal, I go, oh, sweet, let me ask Dennis if he's going to be here this weekend. Dennis goes, Oh, I got a Madden deal. I go, okay, sweet. Do you want to do it? He goes, yes. I'm like, all right, then go tell Turner. He texts Turner after his stream's over because he doesn't want to bother him while he's on stream. Both of my teammates, I had a brand deal on Thursday, which is two days before the tournament. And I'm like, hey, I got a brand deal. These are times. Um, and yeah, I should still be able to play. And then I found out today my exact times. I'm like, hey, the times are 36. I'll be an hour late. Super easy. Normally we qualify in the first hour early. The first one, super easy. And then we have to start an hour late. Is really easy, right? Two wins or two, one win in the top ten, and you probably pretty much um, are back in the race, which we've done multiple times. Or Turner didn't want to play. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I think as well, Tifu made some good points about what led to this. Obviously, WoW Classic has now been released, and Cloaksy and 72 have been on that quite frequently. Apparently not near as much in terms of practicing for Fortnite. I'm bringing dedicated uh, to the competitive nature of Fortnite as of recently with these cash cups, which is why maybe Tifu also took to Twitter about that. I don't think it's going to be a long-term thing. We're probably over-dramatizing it, but it's still a big issue here. Um, you know, you definitely understand both sides, right? You understand that if they did tell him a couple days ago, and if if Turner never told them about his Madden deal, uh, a bit of a uh, lack of communication there. But you also certainly understand why Tifu would be upset about missing out on $140,000 for a few hours of work. I would, <laughs> could you, yes, you'd be pissed too. So not too much drama out there, guys, but certainly going to cover it here. What are your thoughts about this? Who do you side with if you even take a side here? And uh, again, I don't think it's going to be a long-term issue. But as always, my name is Jake, breaking down gaming and other esports news here all day long. I hope you guys all enjoy. I'll see you back here sometime soon. Until then, take care.